You're watching the book reviewer with Cindy Brady, where we make hardcovers soft. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the book reviewer with your host Cindy. And I have another book review to share with you, you guys. So, before we get too far into the video, Happy New Year to you guys. Um, I know that they celebrated that a couple of days ago, but here I am wishing you a Happy New Year. Wherever in the world you are, um, however you celebrate New, Year, New Year's, I hope you had fun um, and were able to spend it with people that... Um, like you and and family and everything like that um and let's see before we get too far into the video as well um um i wanted to say i'm sorry i didn't get a video up for yesterday i had some things on my mind and i had some other stuff to do and I had not quite finished the book that I was reading um, for yesterday's book review for today. So I got to finish reading my book and here I am coming at you with another review. Okay, so this, you guys know if you've watched me for a while that um, I am clearly a fan of Beverly Lewis. This was an author that I found probably a few months ago and I thought well let's try it and I think I had picked up the second book in the series and then realized that I wanted to read them in order so that I could do the series reviews like I typically do and um, go from there and I really like this author Beverly Lewis and I found out I had picked up another book from her it is called The Secret by Beverly Lewis and you guys it is 364 pages long and it has 34 chapters so as you guys can imagine that took a little bit of doing but I am glad I went for it and I finished the book and I'm here now to tell you what I think so Beverly Lewis has this new little mini series out and so, as far as I know, it is a two-book series. It is a series called Seasons of Grace. And I have finished book one of the series. Um, Beverly Lewis grew up with, um, with an Amish background. She lived in the life so long, and then she... I believe she departed from it for whatever reason um, and she decided to write stories that centered around their beliefs and and created stories that could have happened and maybe did actually happen in her kind of community I'm not really sure if these stories are real life I don't think they are according to the epilogue but she said that she has fun um, doing little mini series and starting series and things like that. Um, so this book starts out with um, a family that um, gets along really well. They have a few children that that are able to help out on the farm, and then there it's intermingled with another story. So there's like two stories kind of going side by side and there's this other woman named Heather um, who is ill she's not she's probably in a state of shock right now and she's not quite believing the diagnosis which is sometimes hard sometimes easy depending on what the diagnosis is and um, they follow these two ladies what their happenings are with their families, whatever families they have. Um, it was quite a long book at 364 pages, but 
you know, sometimes once you start reading, you can't really stop unless you need to, to do things like dishes or, or whatever. Um, and, but it was worth it. I, I really liked it. And it was quite, well, a lot of authors make their characters believable. And she did that very well. And from what I understand, there is another book that has the sequel to this story called The Missing, which I will get to soon. Uh, so, again, this is a two-book series. I have only read the first book. Um, would the book reviewer recommend this? Absolutely yes. Because if you're not familiar with The Amish Life, which I know I'm not, but um, anybody that wants to find out what that is through through books, this would be a good series. Um, Beverly Lewis is a good author. I am glad I found out about her books. Um, I will keep reading them. And yeah, I will put links to Amazon up in the video description below. And up in the okay up in the cards above no in the video description below definitely um, it does have a Kindle edition you guys um, and if you guys are subscribed to the Amazon Kindle Unlimited you can read it for free but it seems like sometimes um, on Amazon the paperbacks are way less expensive than the Kindle edition um, which is kind of a kind of a switch off um, I explain it in my other video physical books versus ebooks that I will put up in the cards above in case you missed it um, I think that's all I have for you guys today um, please be sure and look out for a bonus video to make up for yesterday's non video day um, if you can call it that uh, Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, keep reading, don't stop believing, and we will see you again actually later on today, because I'm posting twice today. Alright, we'll see you guys, bye!